Providing a greater level of control and consistency on open BIM projects, the new IFC Data Mappings command ensures that IFC has been mapped before exporting to a BIM model. IFC Data Mappings should be used in these circumstances. Assigning an IFC designation to non-IFC objects and map a defined set of IFC parameters to attach property and data sets to objects in addition to the default IFC property set. To identify which object parameters or record format parameters should map to an IFC parameter within the identified property set. Define, save, and recall multiple custom mapping configurations as a saved setting. To add a custom object, open the IFC data mappings window via AEC IFC data mappings and click the add new button at the bottom left. In the pop-up that follows, you can add the name. If it's a symbol, use the name of the symbol definition. If it's a modeled object, such as an extrude, the object name that you add should match the name you defined for it in the object info palette. Click OK, and the new object will be added to the list and selected automatically. To add the identified IFC entity type or tag, click the Change Mapping button. A dialog will appear, titled Select IFC Object. After you assign the appropriate IFC tag, click OK and the dataset will appear in the middle pane of the dialog under IFC Entities slash PSET. This is now the default IFC tag for any symbol or object named the same as the one you just added to the object list. To attach additional property sets, in the leftmost pane of this dialog box, select the object you want to attach the additional property set to. Click the Add button, then choose a property or dataset from the list of default IFC property sets and click OK to add the new property set before the default set. Records with custom data can also be added as custom property sets. To map the appropriate object values or record values to the IFC parameters, next to the property set name, you should see an arrow. Clicking this will expand that set's parameters. Select the parameter you wish to map. Then on the far right, there will be an empty field under the name of the parameter. This field being blank indicates that the selected parameter will not be pre-populated with object information since you have yet to define the mapping. If the field's blank, you can edit it directly. Click Define Mapping, and a dialog will appear. Here you can select where proper mapping values should be populated from. After you select the source, select the parameter that corresponds with the IFC parameter it should be mapped to. The Formula field will generate the data source string for the parameter that has been mapped. This should match the data source field in the IFC data dialog. Click OK, and the new mapping will appear on the right side of the IFC Data Mappings dialog, grayed out. Map everything you need, and then click OK. To edit or amend an existing mapping, in the IFC Data Mappings dialog, select the object you want to edit. You can use the Filter field near the top to find what you need quickly, then click Change Mapping to edit the existing mapping, or Add to attach additional property sets, and the same steps laid out previously can be used to make the changes needed. Once you've defined new mappings for specific objects, you can save these as mapping settings that can be recalled in different documents that require the same custom mapping later on.